Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One, coming to you on Friday, July the 7th, the year 2023. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap-up. And um, I just realized something. It is also NFP Day. Um, Walmart and I did some trading. Um, it's funny. I guessed short, price went long, so then I had to uh, trade my way out of the mess. Um, but that's what I did. These videos are for educational purposes, only your results may differ from mine. So let's take a look at the weekly. On the dashboard, all the gaps have filled. We're 69 pips above the open, 51 off the high, 99 off the low. As you can see here on this weekly chart, we did break out of the previous week's high. And if we take a look at the monthly, 70 pips above the open, now 72, 48 off the high, and 101 off the low. And remember, um, this was the first trading week, so the week and the month are pretty much the same. You can see we are above the opening range for the week by 37 pips. Uh, we actually cracked yesterday's high and then pulled back below it. In fact, on the news, I was kicking myself because I was thinking what I should have done was had a pending order at yesterday's high. It would have been good for about 20 or 30 pips. Um, as you can see, we uh, haven't put in a new yearly high yet this month. And we are 89 pips off the yearly high. 670 above the yearly open and 956 above the yearly low. And that's all on the pound. The inside bar, we had an inside bar two days ago. We broke out of it yesterday and we dipped inside and broke out big again today in that inside bar. Weekly inside bar happened two weeks ago. Uh, yesterday we broke through the low by a little bit but snapped right back inside. So we still have these, this inside bar, this weekly inside bar uh, that we might be able to take advantage of possibly next week. And I'm just bias short on the pound. I'm just thinking every opportunity I get to short it, that's what I've been doing. It's NFP day once again, only 82 pips on the pound. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, only seven pairs over a hundred pips on NFP day. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I have been keeping my eye on the dollar yen. That's, you know, I used to trade that all the time. And I guess it doesn't want to stay above the 144 mark. In fact, it's coming back down. It's only 143.20 at the moment. And this hour is definitely, we've covered the uh, H1, you can candle, and so this is the body, the top, the bottom, and this is the high, this is the low, and you can see the high is higher than the top, the low is lower than the bottom, that's considered covered, we covered that candle body. And you can see price has uh, been bouncing around here out of that lower wick zone from the previous hour rats red rats feasted and I was kicking myself I had a couple of shorts I think I had one at 99 and one at 93 it's like why didn't I just leave them alone because <laughs> they would have definitely paid off huge but you can see here once again the rat zone proved to work um, And right now we're between zones. And I'm still looking to short anytime it pulls up. I'm looking for it to uh, then come back down. Bambino flex indicators indicated along and definitely would have paid off. Near R1 bias is short on the pivot trading plan. Once again, that would have paid off. In fact, right now it's been good for about 18, 19 pips. And price got near the pivot. It actually took out the pivot and it said bias is long. We're 37 th pips above that pivot. So that plan worked out. You know, we talk about trading plans and um, 
I read something or heard something. I it was I was listening to a uh, trading video. Yeah, I heard it, and the guy said something that I thought was kind of true. He was talking about FOMO, and he said, you know, we're, we're, it's not really missing out. What you're doing is is you're not having faith in your plan, and you're reacting. And so, if you have a plan, trade the plan. Just stick to the plan. Don't mess with it, because all your thought went into the plan. Now, after you have your plan, all you have to do is execute it. There, there's, no, there's no reason to think anymore. And I think that's what happens to a lot of traders, is that you've got this plan, and something happens, and you just abandon the plan. And when you when if all you do is stick to it and sometimes it takes a little bit longer than what you like in fact Walmart followed me on a short and he says man that was rough he was we were in the trade for over 20 minutes I didn't even realize it was that long but he was agonizing because he doesn't like being in a trade that long you know a couple minutes at, at best so you know and I was just kind of sticking to the plan because I looked, there was a uh, um, an open gap, it, price had gapped up. I go, it's got to come down to 57, and I was shorting around 61, and I mean, it would go down to 59, and it was like, like two or three or four times. I could have taken, you know, a pip or two, but I was just, you know, was trying to stick to the plan. And then we had one that ran against us a bit, but, you know, finally paid out. And that's what you have to do is you have to have that plan and you just have to stick to it. And sometimes it doesn't work out and that's why we have stop losses. <laughs> so we've uh, taken out that weekly pivot. We've taken, we haven't taken out the monthly. We've missed it by 20 pips here. So this 23.68 is still in play. We'll have to wait and see what happens. And on the H4, um, once again, there were some pivots that uh, needed to be taken out. Um, we've got one right here. And so this pivot here needed to be taken out. It got taken out a couple of H4 bars ago. Actually, no, this one was taken out there. There was a missed pivot somewhere. Um, I was looking for it. But now, oh, this pivot right over here. I think I called that one out yesterday. And then this H4, we've already taken out the pivot. And I played that short from the open. And we are in that upper wick zone. Uh, once again, price extended above, came back, you know, short at the 80. I figured it had to get to 75, and it just continued on down. Weekly, the range so far is only 150 pips anemic. Very, very, very anemic. Um, we broke out of the previous week's high by 49 pips. We did not break out of the previous week's low. High minus close at the moment, 44. Close minus low, 106. For you rat traders, for you weekly open crossover or buy zone traders high minus open 120 open minus low 30 once again pips to be made trading horizontal lines in fact one of the charts um oh my um m30 what i've done is i have the um h4 previous h4 high low previous day high low and i've been trading across those lines with much success once again you know you can see right here a simple daily yesterday's high nice breakout even though I didn't take that long and if we switch over to h4 you can see here previous h4s 
before the news there wasn't much room but right here at h4 previous high to the to the north that proved to be profitable you know a lot of this people say oh that's hindsight that's hindsight well when you use the previous days or previous h4 or anything previous you draw those horizontal lines they don't move <laughs> they're fixed and that's why i like them and then you can just take and trade accordingly and as you can see here we covered this m30 candle and now this one's also covering this m30 candle and remember the m30 candles have the highest rate of covering so or are being covered so that's why it's another reason i switched to m30 and if you just trade with the candle color you can see here we had some nice ranges here on m30 you can take advantage of that and using the uh, three level zz with the uh, support resistance lines at the at the three balls and i think i've showed you the fib retrace and once again that's where i had faith when i shorted here and then price ran up here i said it's it has to come back it does it every daggone time from three ball to three ball, you almost always get a 50% retrace. Okay, looking at the range by month, we've only got 150 pips, so there's plenty of room left in the month. Accumulated range, um, we didn't break out, so we're still at 1046 for the year. the uh, close minus open percent 5.64 if you bought at the open you'd be up 5.64 percent open of the year for those uh, ATR percent so far it's, it's low only 25 so there's a lot of room once again it's just the first uh, week in January and we've got three more full weeks of trading left this month so there's plenty plenty more to be had of range that is put that back um looking at the trade reminder it says buyers are in strong control on the monthly you can see we're still in that upper wick zone. That's key for the week. We're above the upper wick zone right at the moment. Buyer's strong control. On the daily, we're above the uh, indicator two. The previous bar was an outside bar, and that was a clue to look for it to, to, uh, have a big move at the higher low of the outside bar and we're inside that upper wick zone which is a pretty big wick from yesterday we might even wind up closing in that wick we'll just have to wait and see but you see here again this would probably be a uh, interesting spot to short actually i'm going to turn on show fib lines actually there's the fib lines here and you can see 2780 that's the 50 percent retrace from this three ball coming back up We'll see if it gets there. It's already hit. It's hard to see because I've got the, uh... oh, wait a minute. You know what? We're just about out of time. Fastest 15 minutes in trading's over. 
traders so i'm gonna wish you a uh, fun and safe weekend and always remember never forget it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there and drain the banks this is the rumpled one over and out